Good morning, viewers. Welcome back to our channel. I am Raju Padhyay from CMS College, Patna, Department of IT. Today, I'll be talking about how to protect worksheet. In the previous video, I talked about how to protect the workbook. Today, we are going to learn how to protect worksheet and what are the various ways by which we can protect our worksheet. So without delaying any further, I'll be taking you to the practical screen now. So let's say this is my worksheet in which we are having a data about uh, various developer and their project detail. At this moment, you can see we are able to do any modification in this data. Let's say if I wanted to write something here, so I can write here, uh, let's say testing. So I'm able to write something here. Now I wanted to show you how to protect this particular worksheet. If you wanted to protect a worksheet, there are four different ways by which you can protect the worksheet. The first way and first and the simplest way is you can select the sheet tab on the sheet tab bar and do the right click. The moment you do the right click there, you get the option for protect sheet. We'll click on this. Now, what exactly you wanted to do, you'll be writing here. So obviously I wanted to select the lock cells and we wanted to select the unlock cells. And here I'm going to give the password in order to protect it. So I've entered the password, very simple password. Again, it is going to reconfirm the password. Once the password has been done, now, if I wanted to write anything here, so let's say the moment I attempt to write anything, it is saying that the cell or chart you have trying you are trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make changes, click unprotect sheet in the review tab and you can do the modification. So it is restricting us to do any modification in this. If you wanted to further modify, you need to unprotect this particular sheet and then you can do the modification. So if you wanted to unprotect it, we can go to the review and there is an unprotect sheet. So obviously if you are a genuine user, if you are an authorized user, you must be knowing your password, how to unprotect it. So I can click it here. I can write down my password, which I have entered. So I can click on this. And now I'm able to do the modification. So let's say here, I'm going to write testing uh, software. So let's see, I'm able to do the modification. Now this, this was the first way by which you can protect your sheet. Now I'll tell you what is the second way of doing it. So if you wanted to protect it again, you can go to the file. Within a file, you have a options. And within a options, sorry, you can go to the file. And within a file, you have the info. Within a info, we have the protect workbook. If you go inside the protect workbook, you get the option over, over here, protect current sheet. You can click on this. And again, it is going to ask for the password. I enter the password. It is going to reconfirm for the password. I am re-entering the password. And again, it is getting protected. The moment I try to do any modification, see the same error I am getting. So let us unprotect it again. So I'm going to unprotect it with the valid password. Now again, if we can do the modification, now I'll let you know the third way of protecting the worksheet. The third way of protecting a worksheet is you can go to the review and within a review, we have a, a group called changes and within a changes group, we have an option called protect sheet. We can click on this again. It, we can enter the password and by entering the password twice, we'll be able to protect it. So let's say if I, again, if I try to write anything, I'm not able to write anything. So let us unprotect it using the review, unprotect sheet. Now I'll discuss the fourth way of doing the protecting a sheet. So what I can do is we can go to home. Within a home, we are having an option called within a sales group, 
we are having an option called format. Within a format, you can see out here, protect sheet. And now we can enter a password here. And this way we are able to protect this particular sheet. Now see, if I try to enter anything, I'm not able to enter it. So let us unprotect it. So by having the valid password, we can unprotect this particular sheet. So viewers, we have learned there are four different ways by which you can protect your worksheet. So you people are aware of how to protect the workbook as well as how to protect the worksheet from unauthorized access. That's all for the day. Hope you must have understood this concept very well. You have liked, you must have liked the video very well. So if you liked it, click on like button and leave your valuable comment in the comment section. Again, we will meet you tomorrow with the another concept of the same data protection. There we are going to talk about, we will lock certain area of a worksheet and we will unlock certain area of the worksheet. So uh, in the restricted places, you will not able to do any modification and the places where you wanted to modification, modification can be possible. So wait for tomorrow's video. I'll be coming with that concept. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Goodbye for today.